tal amigos? ¿Cómo están? Una nueva edición aquí de Auto 060 en Cristina Radio Network. Tenemos un show con, uh, como siempre, muchas entrevistas con diseñadores, con ingenieros, con expertos en marketing, con uh, gente de la tecnología, todo lo que está pasando en la industria de los autos. Esta semana tuvimos una experiencia muy agradable. Seguimos eh, con los viajes. Estuvimos en California, en Napa Valley, para ser más exactos, con el grupo de Volkswagen, que nos ha presentado toda su línea nueva para el 2014. Tienen grandes novedades en cuanto a nuevos uh, motores, un nuevo motor eh, 1.8 litros eh, con gran potencia, que cada vez es increíble lo que hace el grupo Volkswagen. Tiene 40 mil ingenieros en todo el mundo, más de los que tiene la NASA. Así que imagínense todo lo que puede producir una fuerza de trabajo como es la de la Volkswagen con eh, 40.000 ingenieros, en este caso el grupo, el, la marca individual de Volkswagen, nos han presentado todas las novedades que tienen, eh, sus modelos eh, más recientes. Una oportunidad increíble que tuvimos de manejar, por ejemplo, un modelo, el Siroco, el Siroco que no se vende acá en Estados Unidos por unas eh, cuestiones de, bueno, decisiones internas de la compañía que les resulta demasiado eh, caro traerlo por ahora eh, y compite además con algunos de sus modelos más populares como el GTI. Eh, así que bueno, vamos a escuchar un poquito más adelante eh, un overview en eh, general de lo que está haciendo el grupo Volkswagen en el mundo con todas las marcas. El grupo Volkswagen, ese es muy interesante, alguna gente no, no lo recuerda, pero es, está integrado por 10 eh, marcas, desde el grupo de camiones MAN, que es el eh, grandes eh, camiones de carga, eh, equipos de trabajo pesado. Y bueno, luego sigue el gran, uh, el gran um, menú, digamos, por decirlo de alguna manera, eh, está la Volkswagen, está también la Audi, por supuesto, está Bentley, está Lamborghini, está el grupo Seat, eh, Skoda de la República Checa, Porsche, eh, Ducati, la, la más uh, reciente adquisición del grupo Volkswagen, pero eso un poquito más adelante. Eh, también vamos a hablar con Aileen Barraza, una diseñadora hispana que trabaja para la Ford, eh, que fue responsable, entre otros proyectos, de la Ford F-150 Atlas, un prototipo que se presentó en la jornada, en la, la serie de auto shows de a principios de año. Eh, y bueno, además de hablar de ese, de ese proyecto en particular, nos va a comentar algunos de sus eh, consejos para la gente que quiera, las nuevas generaciones que quieran seguirle eh, los pasos en esta industria. También con uh, Diana Duque Miranda, Senior Manager for Kelly Blue Book, Uh, Market Intelligence, que nos va a hablar sobre los resultados de un estudio interesante, eh, la batalla de los sexos, como siempre, qué es lo que prefieren los hombres y las mujeres a la hora de comprar un auto. Y por último, vamos a hablar, eh, darle una, una mirada al State Farm 1968 Split Camaro Project, un uh, proyecto que está ayudando para uh, educar a los consumidores sobre la importancia de mantener bajo debida protección un auto de colección como este. Así que bueno, vamos a empezar con las entrevistas. Eh, vamos a hablar con Mark Trajan, es el Senior Vice President de Group Quality del Grupo Volkswagen en América del Norte, que nos va a explicar un poco lo que, ha, lo que está pasando con el grupo en general y con la marca Volkswagen en particular aquí en Estados Unidos. Well, Mark, uh, thank you very much for having us here in uh, California for the full line drive of the uh, Volkswagen uh, brand here in the States. But um, during your presentation, you talk about the group. Yes. The group is very impressive. You go through that brochure and you just see it's like a candy store. Yeah. It's, a, it's very impressive, and I think it's, uh, it, it provides lots of strengths and advantages that uh, we will continue to leverage to secure the success of all the brands in the group because you have, with this breadth and depth, all the way from MAN, which uh, I think is, has very strong and, and maritime uh, power supply and... and, and uh, Wind, wind energy generation all the way down to uh, trucks, and then we're talking. Buses. I'm sorry for interrupting, but that's yeah. uh, we're talking about the big trucks, also, yeah, right? Like yeah, in, MAN, yeah, yeah. But but people don't recognize uh, that that MAN also I think supplies about uh, every fifty percent of all the the engines in, in, in marine vessels. You know, so uh, this is kind of a, a extreme example. But we go all the way from that end of the spectrum all the way down to Seat and Skoda brands that we don't offer here, but are very successful in the European context. And in between, you have Porsche. You have Bentley, Bugatti, uh, Lamborghini, Lamborghini, yeah, and then of course Audi and Volkswagen. And um, the beauty of all of that is that we can share synergies across the spectrum of this brand group and share engineering capabilities, uh, marketing capabilities, and I think doing that intelligently 
doing that intelligently can help secure the continued growth and success of all the individual brands. Yeah, and uh, within each brand, they're like very particular things. And the Volkswagen Group is uh, um, the Volkswagen brand. I'm sorry. Yeah. I mean, it has, I mean, like from the Beetle, um, to the Sirocco that we're seeing here, whether we don't get here in the States, but it's yeah. like so exciting and, and fun to drive. So um, the Volkswagen Group is doing great in the States, um, particularly the last four or five years. Yeah, I think it's a result of the focus and commitment that the group has made to this market because the group recognizes that there's still some, a lot of growth potential in the U.S. Um, and we want to realize that because it's not just a, a, an element of pride, a factor of pride, but it's also you know business success and the revenue yeah. that can be derived. To make money and send to Wolfsburg. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. and tangible <laughs> examples in the Volkswagen brand are you know the, the the Jetta and the Passat as we talked about earlier. Those are you know two cars that were conceptualized, developed, and engineered with the U.S. market interest in mind. Yeah, you were talking about the, all the resources that are here in this industry in the U.S. Uh, surveys, studies, companies that, that do testing, yep. not only the manufacturer but also like independent yep. insurance and all that. And that gives you an advantage or like at least more information to be more competitive, right? Exactly right. I mean, uh, you know, I think it was Dr. Wintergren that first recognized that and, and uh, give him credit because there's more transparency in the U.S. market than there is in any other market in the world. And if, you know, if you've got J.D. Power, you've got consumer reports, you've got longer warranties, you know, some of the emission warranties go up to 15 years. And, and, and just a, high, a much more higher level of consumerism, if you will, to use that term. And if you harness that correctly, you can gain insights and this voice of the customer, what I call, that that you can apply to all markets you know uh, yeah. we're not that different from the market yeah in people China. want value and quality for their money right. basically and, and, anywhere in the world and they want ease of use they want you know understanding intuitive controls uh, the the things that a customer is seeking out in China or in central Europe is not that much different than that in America yeah exactly so um, Volkswagen again has been on a roll I mean a lot of new products in the past four or five years uh, and then um, what's what's in the near future? Because you have a plan to go to 2018. Mm -hmm. You're aiming to become the number one manufacturer in the world, mm -hmm. among other things. Uh, so what's in the next next five years for Volkswagen? Well, in the Volkswagen context, uh, right now we're in the, in the process of securing uh, the growth that we've realized in the past couple of years, making sure we've got absolute bulletproof quality, making sure we've got really sharp and successful dealer partners in our network that can support you know, a real premium and positive customer experience. And then we'll continue to uh, uh, tweak the strength and depth of our product portfolio. You'll see additional new products that compete in segments that we don't currently compete in. I can't give you any more specifics right now. Really? But, but, <laughs> but you can sort of figure that out. But yeah, we're going to continue to build on the strengths we have today and add to the product portfolio uh, so that we can grow the success of the brand here in this market even further. Yeah. And you were talking about how quality, how, how important quality is for, for, for you and for anybody. I mean, like nowadays, nobody can afford to put a bad car in the market. I mean, it gets killed and like you lose money like crazy. Right. So, I mean, that's one of the things that you have to, in the next years, like, uh, getting more people into the cars and uh, loving them, right? Yeah. Yeah, and there's so many different facets to quality that we have to focus on every one. It's not just about the reliability, you know, does something work or does it not work, but also the softer aspect of quality. Is the design intuitive? Does it feel right? Is it attractive? Does the car heat up quickly when you start it up, you know? Is there good throttle response? These are all aspects of quality that we continually focus on with laser-like uh, precision, if you will, because it's, it's, it, it's that consistency that you need and will need to be successful here in this market and any market. And that's one of the strengths of, of the brand and the group, I think, is that we're, we're able to deliver on those aspects of quality. Yeah. So going a little back to numbers, uh, Volkswagen here in the U.S. hit the peak uh, in the late 60s, I, I believe, like uh, just under 600,000. Yes. And then it went really down like in the mid-70s. Like, yeah. Basically, not disappear, but like there wasn't much going on. Yeah. And now you're pretty much back to those uh, peak numbers of the late 60s? Yeah, and I, I've been with the brand now for, geez, from a retail and wholesale perspective, all of those 40 years. That you Up mentioned. and down. <laughs> yeah, and, and uh, those those peaks and valleys are a result of a lot of factors. Some of those that we created ourselves through our lack of focus and our mm -hmm. lack of commitment to this market. But those are times past. I'm here to tell you today, we've got rock solid commitment to this North American market. And you can see that in the billions of dollars of investments that we've made in Mexico, the U.S., and Canada, and the billions that we have planned to continue to invest in this market. 
Yeah, so you're going to be busy for the next five years at least. So busy <laughs> and then is, beyond that. Busy is a good thing because if you do it right, it leads to success. Yeah, and we're going to be busy here because we have like about 50 cars here to, for us to drive from uh, the Sirocco to the new Beetle. That Beetle, basically, that um, uh, it was the 10th million car built in Puebla, right? Yep, the Beetle GSR uh, was the 10th million car in Puebla. And again, it speaks to the investment in this market because Puebla is such a fantastic facility. It has such a rich and deep history. And as I said earlier, people don't realize it's the largest automotive production facility in North America, right there in Puebla, Mexico. Well, excellent. Uh, very good news from Volkswagen. And thank you very much again for your time and the opportunity to drive all these fabulous cars here. You are very welcome, and I hope you have a, a successful day enjoying all of these wonderful uh, nuggets that we have. Thank you. All right. Y ahí estamos. Esa fue la entrevista con Mark Turgeon, uh, uh, Senior Vice President de Group Quality de Volkswagen Norte América. Um, un trabajo muy interesante, todo lo que nos está diciendo eh, Mark sobre los esfuerzos que está haciendo la Volkswagen por volver a esos eh, niveles eh, y superarlos, obviamente, a esos niveles donde los, a finales de los 60, principios de los 70, básicamente vendían el Beetle, eh, la, la combi, el, 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 el camión cuadrado muy uh, familiar con uh, la, esa era hippie de acá en Estados Unidos, que fue muy, muy, muy popular y ahora, bueno, eh, la nueva ola de productos que tiene es súper interesante. Tienen autos para todos los gustos eh, que empiezan, por ejemplo, pues, obviamente desde la, del Beetle, ¿no? El original. Ahora tienen una generación nueva, una edición nueva, eh, el GSR, un modelo Beetle color amarillo con eh, adornos en negro muy deportivo. Y luego tienen el Passat, el Jetta, que son autos fabricados específicamente ahora a, para el mercado de Estados Unidos, pero también acá en Estados Unidos en su planta que tiene en Chattanooga y están eh, teniendo mucho éxito con ese modelo. También tienen la T1, tienen la Touareg, eh, las eh, SUVs eh, pequeñas y mediana eh, del grupo. Luego tienen obviamente el EOS, el, eh, bolso, el eh, convertible de techo duro que además tiene la, la curiosidad o la, la calidad de ser el único con el techo corredizo. Así que bueno, toda la línea Full Drive de Volkswagen 2014 desde Napa Valley. Vamos a colocar toda la información en nuestra página de facebook.com slash Cristina Radio y facebook.com slash Auto 060 para que la tengan a mano y la disfruten. Y cuando regresemos vamos a hablar con Aileen Barraza, una diseñadora hispana de la Ford Motor Company. <música> 